Sing and take a deep breath now, fellas, and hang on to your hats. Here's what you've been saving all those points for. Your favorite pinup star from Hollywood's gallery of glittering glamour, luscious Linda Darnell. <laughs> Linda, I don't believe even Santa Claus could fill a stocking as deliciously as you do. Oh, heaven has been so good to you. Oh. Linda, you look wonderful. Well, Eddie, I just hope that when I'm your age, I'll be just as well preserved. Preserved? What do you mean preserved? What am I? A... What am I, a pickle or something? What do you mean preserved? Well, tell me, Linda. Answer, am I a pickle? Well, all I can say is don't stand too close to a corned beef sandwich, kid. Is that so? Well, tell me, my fine lady, how do you keep in such fine shape? Well, every morning I go horseback riding, I play a couple of sets of tennis, a round of golf, a swim in the pool, a couple of chuckers of polo, and then I just... Yes? Well, then I'm ready for my day's activities. Oh, oh you yeah, huh? <laughs> Say, Eddie, tell me something. How do you manage to keep in trim? Oh, practically the same routine as yours, Linda. Up in the morning, a fast game of tic-tac-toe, <laughs> a game of jacks, a chucker of checkers, a half hour with my yo-yo, and then... Yes? That's all. I'm knocked out. <laughs> oh, Eddie. Linda, tell me something, honey. Is it because you're a California girl that you're so athletically inclined? Oh, yes. You know, I began swimming at the age of 18 months. Uh, you weren't by chance born out here during the rainy season, were you? <laughs> Look, Linda, is it really necessary to go in for all of that exercise? Well, Eddie, I've got to keep in shape. Yeah. After all, I'm in pictures and I have to watch my figure. Forget about your figure. There's no use both of us watching it. <laughs> both of us. All of us. Look at us. You know, it's not hot here. That's the gleam from these guys' eyes, you know. <laughs> say, say, Linda, I, I remember you, and I remember you very well as a beautiful model. And I guess I must have seen that figure and face of yours in that order glorified on about a thousand billboards around this country. Yes. And, Linda, I have a confession I want to make. What is it, Eddie? I've painted many a mustache on you. Oh, fine. <laughs> Forgive me, please, Linda. You, you must have been the model, I imagine, for dozens of different things, oh, huh? Oh, yes, Eddie. You know, I was kept so busy posing, it seemed that every time I turned around, I was wearing a different costume. Yeah? And such costumes. Mm. I mean, nightgowns, bathing suits, negligees. You know, sometimes it was really embarrassing. I know just how you felt, because at the age of six months, I was posing for talcum powder ads, <laughs> and was my face red. <laughs> Yes, sir. Seemed like every time I turned around, I was wearing a different costume. <laughs> you know something, Linda? If I had your figure, I'd certainly have it insured. Oh, well, Eddie, I did. You did? And the total insurance on my figure adds up to $80,000. Gosh. Well, you see, the studio has insured my arms for $10,000, my shoulders for $12,000, and my limbs for $20,000. Oh, boy. <laughs> What do you mean, oh boy? Oh boy, would I like to be the guy who takes inventory. <laughs> Like to ask you just oh, one... now look, Eddie. First, I'd li like to ask you something. Yeah. You see, I've just come back to Hollywood from a tour, and, you know, I can't find an apartment. Uh -huh. Oh, really, Eddie? It's absolutely impossible. Say no just... more, Linda. Say no more. Really? Are you guys ahead of me? Wait a minute. <laughs> Very fortunate that you came to just the right man. It so happens I have an entire apartment house right here in Hollywood, and just this morning I left an eviction notice for one of my tenants. He's a mysterious fellow. Been living in that apartment for two years, and I've never even seen him. He's on his way over now. This will give us a chance to see what he looks like. Why, that's probably him now. Come in. Come in. How do you do? It's Bud Gordon, the mad right. You are so right. Yeah. <laughs> Linda, yeah. I can handle this fellow Russian. I want you to meet a glamorous picture star, Linda Darnell. You've seen her on the screen, and her pictures have been in every magazine in the country. Was it in Breezy Stories? <laughs> no. Never heard of her. You wait. <laughs> Russian, stop this foolishness. You've got to move out of my apartment house, and you've got to move out right away. You said it, Sam. Yeah? <laughs> You can't do this to me, Camper. Yeah? That's my apartment. I got a lease. No, 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 not leash. Lease. I said lease. Russian, you have not got a leash. Then how come every morning the janitor takes me for a walk? <laughs> oh, stop lying, Russian. 
Now, where is your lease? Here it is. I'll read it. Hmm. What's those funny things on this paper? <laughs> Why, those are words. Then what's these little things? Punctuation marks. Hmm. I'll read them. It's easier. <laughs> comma, comma, period, semicolon, and buttonhook. Yeah. <laughs> buttonhook? That's a question mark. Ha, ha, ha. Pretty, isn't it? Oh, sh- <laughs> Give me that and I'll read it. Hattie Camper, you can read. Oh, don't you dare poke fun at an educated man like Mr. Cantor. Oh. That's right. After all, Russian, Harvard is my alma mater. Alma what? <laughs> mater. Mater. What's the mater, baby? <laughs> Now, let's stop arguing. Okay. After being cooped up in that apartment for two years, you should be glad to get out in the open. Oh, yes, Russian. Don't you miss the outdoors? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, you know something? What happened? This morning, I took a look outside. Yes. I love it in the spring when the groundhogs come out of the ground. But it's not spring. I came up too soon. Keep going. <laughs> Russian, you have simply got to move. I absolutely <laughs> refuse. Russian, Russian, please give the apartment to Miss Darnell. You've lived in it for two years. Besides, this apartment has no bathtub. Now he tells me. <laughs> if you don't vacate the premises for Miss Darnell... Oh, Eddie, look, I'll handle this yeah. guy. Listen, Russian. Yeah. Well, if you'll give me that apartment, I'll take you to dinner at... Zeros. Just a moment, Miss Doorbell. No, no. Darnell, Darnell, don't put in a ringer. Go ahead, now, go ahead. Okay. You think I'd let a woman take me out to wine me and dine me and dance me? So you want me to be a gigolo, eh? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I'd like it. <laughs> oh, come on, Russian, be a good sport, will oh, you? please, let me have the apartment, please. You wouldn't like the bedroom. It's too small. And all night long, it keeps going up and down. Down and up. Up and down and uh, up and down. Russian, up and Russian, stop. You're getting off here. No! <laughs> Listen, Russian, this bedroom doesn't move up and down. Just where did you go to bed? Right behind that little door in the wall. Good heavens, you've been sleeping in the dumbwaiter. <laughs> no wonder every morning I wake up with the mail hanging from my nose. Yep, you're in the wall. Hey, Russian. <laughs> I'm failed too. Yeah. Russian, you're impossible. And I think you're awfully mean. For a girl like this, you should give up your apartment without a murmur. A what? Murmur. Murmur. What's a murmur? No, no. I gotta live too. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> it's not necessary. Russian, I insist that you move out. Oh, it's no use, Eddie. He's made up his mind. Yes, I've made up my mind. I'll give you my apartment. Oh, good. good. But first I've got to tell you how it works. Go ahead. You see? Yes. <laughs> At night when you come home, you come in the back way. Yeah. You put the key in the lock. Turn it to the right, then you turn it to the left. Nothing happens. It's the wrong key. <laughs> you say wrong key? Yeah. Well, where's the right key? You don't need it. There's no door. Keep it open. <laughs> so you walk in and you go to sleep. Go on. In the morning you wake up, you go into the kitchen, take the frying pan and break two eggs. How do you like them? Scramble? Fry? Poached. All right. Makes no difference. There's no stove. Yep. <laughs> no stove. Russian, you mean you haven't had any food there for two years? Ah, but every day, the beautiful maid comes to my apartment. The maid? Yes. But Russian, if you haven't got a stove, how do you heat things up? What possible good can a maid do you? <laughs> <laughs> Silly boy. Well, gang, the time is here again. We have to tie the last piece of string around another package of command performance. This is Eddie Cantor speaking for all of us and sending all of you our very best wishes. So long.
This is the Armed Forces Radio Service.